those are advanced missiles, and unfortunately, it's kind of hard to pull out of that turn, out of that dive, just because again, it is the snow speeder. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to mop up some of these guys on your way over just for the extra kills, um, because otherwise, well, that's the only way you can really get well all the kills you need for a gold medal. Now, we're not gonna deal with the bombers right here because Han has basically got those covered. We're going to be taking care of the at, -AT. This is where the game gets awesome. <laughs> because it's basically the same thing, the, sa the same type of tow cable physics from Sha Shadows of the Empire, that first mission where you're on in the Hoth battle. Just go around them three times, just make sure to use your brakes to cut in and make sure you don't go too far away. It's not that hard, especially for this first one, um, although this is probably the enemy that took me the longest time out of anybody. Come on, we're, we should be done. Okay, there we go. Now you can also, to up your... Well anyway, to up your accuracy, you can shoot on those guys as well. Now, we are going to want to take out a couple of these guys on the way over, just because Han and Wedge won't be able to take them all out on their own. Um, plus, they're going to be right there once we finish with that AT-AT. Dewey says we should start evacuating the people off the top of the Capitol Towers. Yeah, once Chewie gives his little growl, that means that you've taken care of all the bombers in the area. So you're going to want to go right back over to um, Crixnadine, Crixnadine, I can't remember how to say his name and take out these little guys that are here. Now, you do see the at, -AT but first, before you do deal with the at, -AT you do need to take out these at -ATSTs, because otherwise they will completely destroy this building. And you need to make sure that these buildings all stay standing. Don't worry about the soldiers, they're not that big of a deal, and the turrets can take care of them. Just make sure you take out these at -ATSTs. Come on, come on, come on, die. There we go. I wasn't sure whether I was going to actually make it that time. It's not really far, it's not really close enough to be able to hit the building right now anyway, so you don't really have to worry about it as much. Oh gosh, this is the first very long mission, so I probably should have put this in an episode by itself. Oh, I cannot wait to see um, The Empire Strikes Back with my girlfriend again though, because I love that movie so much. <laughs> like, I was just fanboying over it last night, and that's why I'm all... <laughs> Alright, so now what is going to happen is we're going to see some of the very few TIE Fighters, regular TIE Fighters, in the game. Um, which is very surprising. There are only a few TIE Fighters here. And you're just going to want to take them out, make sure they don't take out the shuttle. Very few, few tie, regular TIE Fighters in this game at all. all right, like I was saying, just deal with these AT-ATs by blasting them. It'll up your accuracy again. It comes in really handy when you're trying to get the gold. I can't say that enough. I believe... We just do want to stick around... S stick around a little. Like, we don't have to stay in the same area. Like, I'm going to come over here and take out a few of these boats just for enemies destroyed score, but we do want to stick around because he will have TIE Bombers coming in again, and I believe they should be coming in actually now. Yeah, here we go. Um, they can go like one pass or so. Oh, shoot, really? And that was a perfect pass I made on those guys. What the hell? Um, damn it. Well, first mission failed. I mean, look, enemies destroyed. 54. We, pro we probably would have gotten a freaking gold medal on this, too. <laughs> I forgot how actually early you could get this guy. At least if I wasn't blathering away the entire time. If, I, if you're good enough and not blathering away all the time like I was, you can actually get him really early like this. <laughs> Which is just ridiculous because you'll be bouncing off the canyon walls half the time. 
This is probably why I've had the most deaths with this guy than anyone else, because he's so tightly in this canyon. It's actually... Ooh, don't, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, I almost lost the tow cable right there. Because I'm being a little hasty. Hadoniosis! Can I destroy this guy? No, I guess not. Oh well. Alright, that's all with him. Chewy said we can Maybe I can get him with it. Maybe I can get that upgrade when I come back this way. It's probably a better idea since... Yeah, there's less high buildings on that side. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can. Oh! Oh! Ah! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Ooh! ooh. Ooh, ooh, look at me now, look at me now. I got, I got, got. <laughs> okay, enough of me being in the way. Boom! Alright, S. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 What? What? I did not hit. What? 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 Ah! I lost my three lives. Oh. Failure after failure after failure. <sighs> no, 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 no. I don't want to play you again. <laughs> I do want to play you again. <sighs> failure after failure after failure. Let's actually try this again. Two more. Forgot one of them shows up at Shows up a little late for the party! Oh my god! I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the party! Drink some cocktails! And eat some shrimp! Can you hear me? Yeah! Rogue Squadron, this is Chris Maybe! The attack came before I could recollect it, and I pinned down in the tech center. Can you get me out? Affirmative. I've got my hands full. Can you get them? Oh, I keep forgetting. If you go too far with the, um during that cutscene, you'll actually be bounced back. Because you reach the end of um well, almost you reach the end of the map. Take you guys out. Take you out to supper. Ugh. The only reason I'm doing this game also is because I've done this game so much. It's one of the few games that I've actually bought a guide for because I loved it that much when I was a kid. I did, yeah, I did buy a guide for it. I don't know where the hell the guide is. It's probably at my dad's house, but... Again, it was one of the only games that I bought a guide for, that was Super Mario 64. One of those Prima guides, and this was, they were actually games that they did something they, they did something for, like games that they were useful for. I can't hit that, but I will be able to get it during the concert. After the concert. Hello there, accuracy. Come to Papa. What? I couldn't kill him last time. What? 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 Okay. <laughs> Come on, I'm leading you. Die already. There we go. Dewey says we should start evacuating the people off the top of the Capitol Tower. I can't do a Wookie growl. I'll do a turkey instead. Now let's see if we can get this upgrade for a third time. That would have been such... That would have pissed me off so much if I had died last time that I got it. Although I died right after it, so... Same difference. Alright, let's get these guys quick. Dead. 
infamous game where you can actually play as YTST, which I will be showing off later, but not right now, of course, because I'm in the middle of looping around an ATS and ATAT. -AT. How did I get those mixed up? Especially when I'm like the one who's like, oh, these are ATPTs, and these have never shown up in anything else ever again. <laughs> the most ridiculous looking things, like you think ATSTs are ridiculous, wait until we get a close-up of those ATPTs, they look stupid. Like, they really do. Come on, stop, stop, stop it, computer, stop going to the screensaver. Alright, let's get these TIE Fighters right and quick, because I freaking hate these guys. Oh, and we missed completely. Actually, no, I love these guys. But they shoot so, ugh, they do so much damage. This is where they were. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. You can leave for a little while after you take out the TIE Fighters. I just forgot there are TIE Fighters that are following it. I don't know how I forgot that, because it's pretty... If I stuck around, stuck, stuck around, not stuck around. If I stuck around for half a second more, I would have found that out. If you don't take them out, they'll kill it pretty, pretty quickly. But yeah, now we can go over here and take out these boats. And add on to our kills a little. And our accuracy, which is always helpful. Alright, alright, come on. There we go. Cut those corners a little tight! And we should be... Oh, by the way, hello, I'm back. Um, we should be just hanging around here watching for the shuttle to take off. And we should be getting a couple more TIE Fighters that come following it. I cannot remember, though. But basically, this mission is done. Uh, Chewie's gonna come off the... Uh, Chewie and Han are gonna come off the capital building. Yeah, you can let them go now. No big deal anymore. Uh, basically, just come over here. There might be a couple more TIE Bombers. Can't remember. But, yep, that's it. Now we'll see Han and Chewie lifting off the capital building. It always surprises me how small the Millennium Falcon actually is. General Reagan! It's alright, Luke. You held them off long enough. We evacuated everyone just in time. Thanks to Captain Solo and Chewbacca. Ah, that was never my favorite building anyway. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! You're such a cod! And we got our first gold medal. Was that worth doing it three times? I think it was, because gold medal. And advanced proton torpedoes. Okay guys, that's all the time I have for today, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play... Well, we'll do Liberation of Gerard V next time on Let's Play Star Wars Rogue Squadron with me, Oix Fu, whenever I decide to upload it. So... Take it easy, guys, and remember, don't forget. <laughs>